Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video to walk you through one of the most common questions I get on the Garmin Instinct. And not only a question I get, but maybe my biggest complaint with the Garmin Instinct watch. And that has to deal with this little bitty uh, data element that I've got selected up here in the corner, which is basically the current temperature. Now, first let me start by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you've got the Solar or one of the non-Solar models. Uh, this data field is gonna work the same with all of them. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So the question I get asked a lot is if you choose this data field for the current temperature, what, since what uh, widget is it using? Is it using your weather widget or is it using your uh, thermometer widget? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you those widgets real quick. I've done some videos in the past that go into more detail about those widgets, but I'm just gonna show you just for reference. This is the weather widget. You'll notice it shows the current temperature, shows the high and the low temperature for the day. This is the thermometer widget. Notice it shows the same thing, current temperature, the low and the high over the last four hours. Now the thermometer widget is a little bit different because it's actually using a sensor on the back of the watch to come up with these values. You'll notice a lot of times if you take the watch off of your wrist and let it sit there, this value will start to drop. Whereas the weather widget is using a third party device to pull in the information. It's either using your local weather tower or it's using your cell phone data to pull in the values for the weather. So the question becomes, which of these two is being used here? So if you don't wanna watch the rest of this video, I can tell you it is the weather widget. And that's what's unfortunate to me. I kind of wish it was using the actual uh, thermometer sensor on the back of the watch so it's always reading a current temperature. That's how if you've ever had a Casio Mudman or Frogman or a Protrek, that's how a lot of the Casio watches work. They've got a sensor on the side, calculates the current temperature, and then it displays it on the watch. Unfortunately, Garmin uses the weather widget. I'm gonna show you that here. So what we're gonna do is, you'll notice that when I go to my weather widget, it's showing me my information. I'm going to disconnect my watch from the phone. Now, I could just go into my Garmin Connect app and close it, that would do it. I can also do it this way. I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. I'm gonna go down to settings. I'm going to go to phone and I'm going to disconnect it. Now you'll notice what'll happen is eventually it's still showing, now we've got this little icon saying, hey, there's a problem here. I can't read the weather data. Uh, in time, you will get a different error message. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it here, but in time, that the whole screen will go away and it'll basically tell you that it requires a mobile connection in order to bring in that information. But you'll notice that it still has some weather data and it still has that current temperature. Now, I'm going to restart my watch. So I've got that set up as a uh, control option. I've turned off my watch. Now I'm gonna turn it back on. And let's see what happens to that data field. So you'll notice that the watch is turned back on. The data field is still there, but it's basically showing lines because it doesn't know how to read that field. The reason it doesn't know how to read it is when I go to the weather, there's no phone connection. However, the temperature sensor is still working just fine. It's using the sensor on the back. But anyway, that's just kind of a way to show you proof that it's using the weather widget to populate this field. So this field works fine. Just know that if you're not connected to your cell phone, it's kind of a useless field, just like the weather app. If you're not connected to your cell phone, the weather app does you no good. I'm sorry, not the weather app, but the weather widget. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. I'm just trying to post this video because I get that question a lot, and it is a good question. It is a disappointment to me on this watch as well. As always, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.